If you use a FortiGate firewall, then the next thing is using a Forti analyzer. That's the next big thing that you should deploy to understand logs, to understand threats, to become a cyber analyst. So here's the short guide to deploying your Forti analyzer along with a FortiGate firewall. Coming up. All right, so let's start. Now I have downloaded two VM machines. One is our FortiGate. The second one is the Forti Analyzer. Let's just log in. Now you can add up devices to your Forti Analyzer using different ways. You can do it directly from the FortiGate itself. You can do that also from Device Manager in your Forti Analyzer. So let's do it using our FortiGate. Now here you can also do it in several ways. We will do it using the Security Fabric, that is Fabric Connector, Forti Analyzer Login, Edit, and let's just add up the uh, IP address of our Forti Analyzer. So let's just do that, 65 at the end. We will test connectivity. We can see that it is unauthorized. So we need to move back to our Fori Analyzer. Device Manager, you will see that you have different tabs that you can move between. We will look at them later on. But the very first one is Device Manager. And here you can see that you have one device which is unauthorized. So just select that device and authorize it all right now we can see that we have an issue with the logs we will look at it later on let's just move back to our menu and let's move to system settings which is the very first screen that you need to get familiar with now, very similar to your FortiGate, the dashboard screen or the main screen has dozens of widgets that you can toggle between, add up, remove. Uh, those widgets will give you a high-level overview of what is happening on your FortiGate. Now, we can look at system information, and the very first thing that you should look at is the administrative domain, which is a concept that... Uh, for the analyzer and for the manager uses which means that you can actually segment different devices that connect to your 40 analyzer into different domains we will do that later we will not do that now if you're using one 40 gate then this 40 gate will actually move to the root um, atom which is the very basic atom all right, the second thing is the operation mode. Um, your 40 analyzer by default works in an analyzer mode. That is, it picks up logs, it analyzes them, it archives them, and so on. But you can also use your 40 analyzer if you have several of them uh, in your organization as a log collector, which will actually take the logs from different segments in your network and deliver them to the main 40 analyzer. The uh, second widget is the system resources, which you should take a good look at from time to time. Uh, your 40 analyzer is very sensitive to the memory resources, to the CPU resources. Remember, all your logs are being saved in the storage and indexed in an SQL database. So you will get familiar with log rate, with log insertion rate, and so on. And again, we will look at all those things in the next couple of videos that I'm planning to do. All right, so let's move uh, between the different items in the system settings menu. Now we can look that we currently have only one atom. If you press the edit, then you will see that logs are kept for analytics for 60 days and are kept for archiving for one year. You can change that. We can see that we have 70% for analytics and 30% for archiving. And there's a big 
difference between the two. Analytics are actually live logs that you can do uh, manipulation, you can do filtering, you can do just about anything using uh, data sets, using macros, using the SQL statements. Archive are actually compressed logs that you cannot play around the same way as you do with the analytics log. All right, storage info gives us the information about the storage that is available. Network is our configuration. You can play around, you can look at the different interfaces and configure them. We don't work in an HA mode, so the current operation mode is standalone. Um, administrator, you can create your own new administrator. The root administrator has the same privileges as in your 40 gig. Let's look at the profile of the super user and it has all the read and write permissions. You can configure an LDAP server and use the remote authentication server as the place to authenticate different users. You can also use TACAS and RADIUS. In terms of admin settings, well, you should be quite familiar with the different settings. It's very similar to what is happening on your 40 gig, you can configure password policy, you can configure trusted host. Let's move on, advanced settings, SNMP, mail server, syslog server can be created. You can also forward the um, different logs. If you're using a, sol a SIM solution and you wanna forward the logs to other servers, then you can also create new ones. All right, now let's move to another menu, which is the log view menu, which is one of the main views that you will use with your 40 analyzer. Now, here you can look at the different logs. Currently, I only have system uh, 40 analyzer system logs. When we will connect our 40 gate, you will see much more information. But the main thing is that you can add up different filters, uh, dozens of filters um, that you can play around using devices. You can also use the different columns as a filter. So if you right click on the uh, log line, you can actually use it as a filter. For example, this one is the subtype event is system. So if you're looking to filter only system events, then press this one. But if you're looking to uh, for non-system events, you can press on the second options and you will only see other events such as logdav, dvm, dvm is device manager. By the way, if you're missing the command line, you can press on that and you will have a more granular opportunity to configure things that are not available on the GUI. So let's look at the config system global and let's use the get and we can see um, different settings such as the encryption algorithm, the uh, 40 gate manager algorithm that is being used, uh, the certificates, and other information. You can also use the get system status just to look for the uh, information on your 40 analyzer. All right, now here in logs, you can also uh, browse different devices with their logs and download uh, all the logs that are relevant to that specific device. You can create log groups, which is a way to add up different members to one group that you can uh, later on analyze. You can also create a custom view. So let's look at the uh, log view. And if you decide that you wanna filter the log view, according to user, according to source IP or destination IP, you can create a custom view that will actually uh, be there and will be used to analyze those specific criteria that you have just configured. 
All right, let's move to another place, which is probably my favorite place, which is reports. In reports, you can create your own reports. You can use predefined reports. You can play around with different data sets and you can create your own data sets, assuming that you understand how an SQL statement, an SQL uh, the SQL language works. Once you move to all reports, again, you can create a new report. Just name your report. Let's just name that test report. You can start it from blank or from template. And once you create a new report, you can set up different settings, either using all devices or specifying a specific device, a time period for that report, Always, always use auto cache. Auto cache will make that much more faster to generate. You can use different filters, but the main page is the layout itself where you can insert different charts based on a chart that you have created or a predefined chart that will give you tons of information on the specific topic that you want to investigate.